This video will demonstrate how easy it is to change the look of your website by simply changing the theme. The theme in WordPress is pretty much like that of a book cover of a book. The contents of the book remains the same, but with a new book cover or theme as it is in this case, you're changing the look, the outward appearance of that book. And that's what we're going to be doing with our WordPress site by changing the theme. It's very simple once you know how. Let's go ahead and log into our what's called the back end or the administrator area. Since I'm already logged in, I was able to access this by just clicking on that link. If you're not already logged in, then what you want to do is type in wp-admin right after your URL. Then it will prompt you to enter your username and password. A little box is going to pop up and it'll ask for your username and your password. Enter that information and then you'll end up here. Now at this point we want to go to appearance, go to themes, and all the themes, whether it's the default themes or even what's called third-party themes, are installed and activated the very same way. Now these three are already installed, but you only have one active theme. Let's go ahead and install another theme. Come on up here to install themes. And you've got a few options here. You can upload a theme that you've downloaded to your computer, in which case you just click on that link, choose file, navigate to that zip file on your computer and then once it's selected click on install now bing bang boom it's done then all you have to do is activate that newly installed theme then that activated theme will be the one that shows up on the front end now you can also search for new themes through featured all these themes here are currently located in what's called the wordpress.org theme repository likewise with the newest or recently updated or even if you go back here to search where we were at at the very beginning these are themes that are searched by keyword from within the wordpress.org repository let's go ahead and go to feature just to demonstrate how easy it is to install and activate a brand new theme oh let's just go through here and eeny meeny miny mo let's try this guy right up here yeah how about that one that's got some colors to it page lines install now or you can preview it which basically will let you see what it looks like Eh, I can pass on that let's go ahead and close this one out Come on back here and let's take a look at this guy right here preview okay yeah it's kind of plain but for the sake of this video I think it'll work let's go ahead and click on install and you've got some details about it here as well now at this point you can either live preview it you can activate it or you can return to the theme installer. Let's go ahead and do that. Return to theme installer. Actually, let's just come on back to themes. And you can see the one that is originally installed and activated, the one that's currently on the browser. But this is what it looks like whenever you have a newly installed theme. And if we wanted to, we can simply just activate it and then it will be the one that shows up in the browser. Go ahead and click on dismiss to get that out of the way. And at this point, if we come on over here and check out the visit site link, and I'm going to open that up in a new tab so we can have both these open. This is what our site looks like now versus, let's go ahead and reactivate this guy here. And let's take a look at it now. This is what it looks like originally. This is what it looks like with the new theme that we just activated. And with the new theme activated, you can come up here and customize it. You can add widgets, menus, and other theme-related items that are specific to that particular theme. In other words, you won't find some of these options available with some of these other themes. If we come on into here, go back into themes, you see here you don't have the same options available here as you do here. So again, some of these items are theme specific, but it's rare that you'll be able to break anything by just playing around with this stuff. Worst case scenario, you can always go back and activate one of the default themes and you'll be good to go. And that's an introduction to adding a new theme to your WordPress website.